Hey what's going on guys welcome back to the monster video so in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the new rank of survival dungeon update in case you didn't know they have made some changes to it and we're going to take a look at it today and i'll give you guys my opinion on it but um before we get started if you are new to my channel go on and hit that red subscribe button also drop a like on this video to show support anyways guys let's go ahead and get started all right so i'm sure you guys have noticed this new change um whenever you've done the rank of survival dungeon the past one or two days so for me i did my rank of survival dungeon auto last night because i wanted to rush it i didn't have enough time you know and uh, I wanted to go to sleep so it was super late uh, but um i'm gonna actually take a look at it right now without autoing and stuff like that and see how difficult that is they also what i heard is they nerfed auto loot very very badly but anyways this is like the first first battle right and take a look at this there's wangshu there is wartek the sunbringer and also cloud um you can actually see the levels in the bottom they don't show it on the top here for some reason but in the bottoms they're level 30s but they have level 3 runes and also they have diamond relics guys um what level are these diamond relics anyway let's see so zyron's sn apparently it gives 225 points of stamina zyron's sn which one of you could actually hold an sn let me see zyron's sn zyron's sn can you hold an sn you can't what about you nope nope yes you can okay what level is that zyron's sn that you have it's a level oh my goodness are you telling me it's a maxed out zyron's sn that's what it looks like that's literally what it looks like do I have a level 40? I do not, but I have a level 30. And as you guys can see, it gives 171 points of stamina, right? 171 points of stamina. Now this one, this one actually gives 225 points of stamina. So it's definitely around level 40, if not just level 40. So it's maxed out, which is not good. It's really not good. And there's also Herium Shield on top of that. There's Solar Sword. Okay, so they're going to be... Um, they're going to be a little more difficult to beat now. So you might need like the Banana Monster on your side, you know? Um, if you have that, that will help you out. But I'm still going to use my Gahi Soul because I need to max this out as soon as possible. It's currently at 148. I'm going to go ahead and give you some relics. So before, I don't think you really had to worry about relics as much. But now, it's, yeah, you, you have to go with relics. Like, seriously, you, you need relics here. So I might as well just go with that. And then I do have one attack skill. I kind of want to go with the other attack skill as well. But I also might need my evasion skill here. So... It's all right. Let's just keep what we have here. It's going to go with something like this, for example, something really random. All right. So if you do have any pets, I recommend breaking those up and using them. Now, look, my tank already right away in the other battle has zero stamina because they removed my stamina, which really sucks. I don't want to attack because I can just attack here with my AOE skill. I also have triple damage. Ooh. Wow. All right. I have hit a shift as well for the extra damage. There goes 10 cells, but that was just the first one. Moving on to the next one. Apparently, these are level 35s here. Yep, level 35s. And they didn't really rune it properly because, I mean, this monster does not need a stamina rune. But um, there it is, you know? So, it's not as difficult for me. But I can see it for other players. It's definitely, definitely difficult. And especially, like, later on in the higher missions here. So, for example, when you get to the, like, 150s and stuff, which is right about here, Node 16. Node 16, once you enter the 50 cells area, that is when it gets super, super difficult. And as you guys can see, they even have an unreleased monster there that is basically something that you have to fight. You know, it's a 150. So, that's really, really difficult to fight, I'd say, in my opinion. Um, but for now, I'm not really having any trouble, you know. I mean, this is easy for me to beat, right? But um, I can see it for other players even like the beginning it can be really really difficult and i'm sure social point will definitely change this later on but um at the moment i don't think they'll do anything uh maybe it's going to take a, a day or two or maybe almost a week that they'll actually go ahead and make a change and probably revert it back if not make it easier than what this is um but i see what how you know where they're going with this but i just don't think this was a good idea you know, definitely either revert it back or make it easier than what this is. That's just my opinion. What do you guys think? I, I feel like social points should definitely change it back to either the original. Or if not, just make this easier than what it is right now. Because, like, right away, you guys saw, right? The first battle. We started off my monster, the tank. If I didn't have that mega taunt, everyone else's stamina would have been low. It would have been low. Okay, might have been zero too. I'm not sure. But it drained all my stamina. And on top of that... What happened was, um, like, they had diamond relics and stuff like that. And some of them I saw it was gold relics, so it wasn't all of them with diamond relics. But it's just, like, my point is, 
there are like high level relics given to those monsters right away and imagine fighting that like not okay it's really not do i have enough stamina to hit oh yeah i do okay cool like that one tapped all right so tengahi zero cells with five nebulas now we're entering the 20 and this is level 60s now they have level six rings now there is solar sword that's a diamond okay now i am using my uh thunder beast because of course it boosts up my strength and i need that if i need um the tanky one you know the one that gives life instead i'm not sure if the nature one is out yet i don't think no it's not it's not out yet uh but the other one the um water one i could use if i wanted to but um i'd rather go with something that actually boosts up my power instead so that's why i'm using the thunder one i could also use the fire one but my thunder one is actually higher uh now it's level seven runes oh wow and then this one's so tanky it's a taunt monster too so all your single targets will go towards him which is not good that is really not good but um apparently i can actually just one tap him with my mouse i'll just do this and then we could do package them up for fun just for the damage too we'll charge up and i'll hit you with my fasarius so two waves for this one. Oh wait is this the third one i think this is the third one right i think so so we just charge up uh and then we could do like virtue just a single target damage but the thing is their speed is very very low and it, i mean i understand is these are like original mythics and their speed is actually outdated compared to metropolitan monsters but like Later on, later on, you'll see what's about to begin, and it's gonna be really difficult. I've gotta say, it's going to be really difficult. I'm just gonna go on and auto this. Now, imagine players using like level 100 monsters, and they're trying to basically level those up in the Requests of Village and getting it to like 110 or something. They're gonna be having a hard time. Right now, the reason why I'm not having a hard time is because I'm using a level 148 and basically two monsters that are above level 30, 130, basically rank three. You know. Uh, just think about those things. Um, for me right now, I'd say I'm having a pretty easy time. Although it is time consuming, I've got to say. Look at that now. What? You guys saw that? Level 9 rings now. Ultra point, what is this? W why? Just why? Level 9 runes, and I won't be surprised if I see level 10s later on. Some of you guys are probably like, just wait till you see level 10s. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so last night, like I said, I did the Rinkos of Evil Engine, but I was doing an auto, and I didn't complete it fully, because I just wanted to just go to sleep right away. And um, I did it halfway, I completed like up to the 35 cells-ish, you know, but I didn't really pay attention, pay attention to like the runes and stuff like that. Um, but now that I see the runes and stuff, it's just insane. Level 10 runes now. Look at that. This one's so tanky too, and it's a, it's a Rebellus. Maybe I'll have to cycle? Yep. I thought I needed some double damage or something, but I guess not. Um, now keep in mind, I am running two team strengths. That's why the hamster is hitting so heavily sometimes. So this one is dead. Now there's going to be one more wave after this, right? If I'm not mistaken. So let's just finish you off with this. And then we can do charge up. Do we need a double damage? Nope, nope, nope. Let's just charge up. Okay. Now I am carrying a single target skill just like that, for example. In case if I face uh, dodge area. Um, before I wasn't using the hamster, that's why. Okay, now we could just do this. And that's done. Okay, I thought that would be one more wave, but no, that was the third one. Uh, 20 cells for Gahizol and 10 Nebula. Now we're entering the level 130s area. And it looks like their runes are actually nerfed now. So every time, I guess, you enter like the new area where um, after you collect the Nebulas and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And the cells get bigger and bigger, then they basically nerf the runes. I'm not sure about the relics, but they definitely nerf the runes. That's what I've noticed. Let's charge up here, and then, oh, look at that Tainai speed. Both of them, actually, they were taking the turn. Oh, boy. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna go auto here. You guys do your thing here. It's autoing through this. There is... What's it called? I think that's a 130, right? It's a 130 Megaton, but it doesn't start off with the Megaton just yet. Later on, I'm sure we'll see it start off with the Megaton, if there is one later on. Now, of course, they also give it, like, the right runes as well. Not runes, sorry, right 
um, skill set. That's what I was trying to say. The right skill set. So let's do this. Then we'll hit you with this. Bailey dealt any damage. Um, we'll do this. The, the thing is, he doesn't... He can't really apply any positive status effects now. He's forced to just attack, which is good. So we could do this something like this. Damage increase. Oh, we already had that. I thought it'd be like a triple damage or something. I guess not. Um, we'll do the bite and finish you off. And there we go. That's victory. But that one took a while. Like normally on the old Rinko Survival Engine, that would have just been done right away. But now it's time consuming and you have to strategize, which isn't good. I don't like it. We'll do this for the damage. Get rid of Tessa Kuiper. Or was that Tassari? I think it was Tessa, Tessa Kuiper. We'll get rid of Mr. Beast. Charge up and then hit you heavily with my Valiant Recharge. Or whatever that skill name is. Now I'm just going to apply this so he doesn't deal any damage to me at all. Because we'll, we need to just try to keep these guys alive as much as possible. Because later on it's going to get more difficult. And yeah, this is just like the beginning. It's just getting started. Let's do double damage to herself and then I'll just cycle them. And then I'll just auto here. There we go. And that was okay, that, that was the last one. I thought I'd see another one. Um, but now we're on note 13, so it's a few battles later after we basically got into this new 35 cells area. So let's see what the rune setup is now. Level 9 runes, and then after this, I'm sure there's gonna be level 10. There's a rod in there. Oh no. So try to get rid of the resurrector as soon as possible because this resurrector is gonna be annoying. Now there is taunt, so you'll have to cleanse that there. I'm gonna do double damage to myself. Oh, that gives me an extra turn too. Let's do this. But it's okay, I'll just charge up. I mean, I don't really need the extra turn here. I can't do much. Um, and then I'll just hit you with the tree charge. Oh, I should have saved my AoE the skill right there. Let's do the juice. Oh, there's Spectra now. Oh my gosh. Spectra, no. They really added Spectra in here. Okay, I'm gonna do double damage to myself and then cycle, finish you off. Now imagine if they ended up giving Firebolt. Okay, that was not one of your best skills. But anyways, so imagine if they end up giving later on, instead of nerfing this gauntlet, which I'm pretty sure they will, they will definitely nerf it. But let's say they don't, okay? Uh, instead, what if they buff it and then give it... Um, what if they give it Obscure Talents? I'm not giving any ideas on social but I'm just saying like, you know, what if they end up doing that? That's no good. That's no good at all. Oh, this is the third one. And then look at that style killer. Oh my gosh. What are you doing, social point? What are you doing, man? Okay. This won't really help me out against that style killer. Charge up. Let's do double damage to myself. Yeah, let's do double damage to myself. Oh, there's style killer. I forgot about that. When that health change just kicked in, I thought that was um, Stock Killer's Honesting Assault. Like, I thought she was holding an Honesting Assault and that just kicked in. I was like, oh no. We're done for. Okay. We'll just, I guess, charge up here because she's gonna die to the torches, I'm pretty sure. Or just kill herself. Okay. That works too. Alright, 35 cells. There we go. And now we are entering the... I'm sure this is the level 10 area. Everyone. Yep. Okay, so I was correct. That, that is actually how it works out. So, if you notice, you know where Nebula normally is, right? The Nebula area, wherever you get your Nebula every five battles, I think it is, or something. But anyways, before the Nebula, whatever monster you see, that's the one that's going to have level 10 runes. And then behind that, it's going to be level 9 runes, and then level 8, level 7, level 6s. That's how it works out. So that's, that's something to like note. Um, why would you give it a stamina rune? I mean, that helps me. That's good. Two level 10 life runes. Why would you give that? They could have made this a lot more powerful, honestly. Like, I'm not giving them any ideas. I'm just saying, like, they could have definitely made this a lot more powerful, but they didn't. Alright, what are you going to do? Take the juice. Alright, we took the juice. <laughs> And we have to fight these guys. So I'll charge up. There is an anticipation monster, but that's completely fine. So get rid of the Resurrector, of course. Always you want to get rid of the Resurrector as soon as possible. So you, they don't just keep resurrecting, which is going to be annoying. There is a Megaton there. We could save our ultimate for the third row. The third node. So let's do this. And the third node, I'm not going to use that just yet. 
Let me save it for later. Charge up here. We'll do scrap armor or something. I should have done my megatons instead. Let me use this. Let's hope you don't regain your megatons. I feel like you will. Nope, Bray is villain. Okay. Let's not trigger anything. Let's do this. And then after this. Oh, now my ultimate's going to be useless, basically. Kind of. Whatever, it doesn't deal any damage anyways. Besides the tortures, but the tortures need to kick in. Like, they'll have to end up getting a turn in for it to kick in. Um, but there goes Stock Killer. Now, let's end up cleansing that for fun. And I'll just save some stamina for next node, I guess. I don't think there's going to be a next node. There's going to be a next node node, but not wave. That makes sense. There's going to be a next node, but not next wave. That's what I was trying to say. Now, this one's probably going to have level 10 runes as well. Yep, I was expecting it. Uh, oh my gosh, alright. These runes, they're no joke. Now, the good thing is that they're not mutated. They're not mutated runes, if that makes sense. So that saves us. We can actually just eliminate them with this. Um, health gene kicked in. We're going to do this. And then later on, to strategize it even more, guys, I'm sure many of you guys already know about this, but in case you didn't, um, what you could do if your monster's health gets super low, for example, this tiny little rat monster, right? Uh, you see how the life is almost below 50%. You can probably end up giving it like a face shield, if not a face shield, like a health gene or a med pack, and then you will basically regain your health if you don't have any monsters that can actually regenerate your life, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense to you guys. We're gonna charge up here. Um, we'll just deal the damage. I thought that was my AoE skill. I guess not. Was that a Megaton? No, that was just shield. Let's do juice because Hidden Shift is gonna kill you. And I'll do. Actually, I'll save it for next turn. So let's charge up. Charge up again. And then I'll do Scrap Armor for fun. I was gonna use it for next turn. That's no, okay. I'll have it back before. This monster dies anyway. We could do packaging the bomb. Double damage. No, charge up. It's okay. Take a juice. We'll do single target because that's going to deal the most damage. Charge up. Pain makes you stronger. We could save that for next turn. Because I'm sure there's going to be a second turn, right? Please tell me there's going to be a second one. Because we just saved it. Yeah. And we get our ultimate again. So just like that. And then on top of that, we get another ultimate, of course. Before we had that might as well use it and i was gonna say if we had another ultimate that would have been triple in a row but no no triple we'll do this and cool that was cool that's cool the ultimates definitely helped out a lot now we entered the level 150 area and you can tell because it literally tells right below it you know what i mean so node 16 is going to be the level 150 area and there's going to be random cells that we can get now i want to check the auto loot system because they told me that they nerfed it very badly so let me see how bad this is all that for 885 gems so that was 95 hamster cells 30 nebulas 105 gahisul and all of that for 885 gems no thank you i'm fine i am fine no 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 Iberion, oh no. And then there's a Dodgeria monster, are you kidding me? Don't tell me they start off with Dodgeria too. Started off with Dodgeria. So it's like that, huh? Wow. We could do double damage to myself. AoE skill. That Grackshock's gonna hit me pretty heavily, I've gotta say. That, oh wow. And they paired it up with a Taunt monster as well. That's the crazy part. And wow, okay, that's just wrong. Why would you do that, social point? Just why? <laughs> why would you do that? Um, let me see. Let's do this. Wow, social point. Why would you do that? And they made the taunt monster super tanky too. Now this one I understand why they did it, but the other ones, those ones, pretty dumb. Especially like the ones that were cleansable, like the taunts. Their taunts were cleansable and the mega taunts if they had any life runes, I'm, I don't think I noticed any. But um, if they did, then yeah, that's, that was just idiotic. But um, th this one makes sense. Okay. Double damage. No, cycle is going to be in like three turns. So let's not use it. Single targets will be helpful in this node right here. And also keep in mind, this is actually the first node. 
This is the first one. It's not even the third one. It's actually the first one. Like the first wave I'm, I'm talking about. Not node. I said node, but no. I should have saved my AoE skill there. <laughs> the one that cleanses everything. I should have saved it. Double damage to myself. This is wrong. Why would you do this, Ultra Point? Let me regain my Megaton, so damage section. Suffering, look at that. Look how much damage you just dealt to me. That is just not right. Why would you do that, Social Point? <laughs> I don't know what they're doing to their game. Um, but yeah, again, like I mentioned, I'm sure they'll change something up with this because this is just not okay. Really not okay. I'm gonna charge up here. I might as well auto. I really want to auto, but I don't think I can. I'm too scared to auto. <laughs> I feel like the AI would probably do something dumb. Um, that calls my next skill. Let's do it. Okay, I'm sure the Nanovirus will kill you, so let's just charge up. And now, oh my gosh, there's Sigrid and Forth with a Resurrector on the side, and they're level, level 150s as well. They are actually level 150s. We're gonna charge up here. Let's see what you do. Spell of Madness. We're gonna do the Bite skill. Okay, Blinds, and you dealt quite a lot of damage. There goes my hamster. There goes my freaking hamster. Can we get some Fs in the chat, by the way, in the comments for the hamster? Dang. Alright, and we got victory, but one of my monsters died, so now we are basically left with four nodes. Four nodes are complete, and my hamster unfortunately died. So we're gonna have to substitute him with someone else. Who can we substitute it with? I want to use one of my 150s because they will definitely help out a lot, but the thing is, you might end up getting cells for them. Which is something that um, is a little, I guess, risky. I don't really want to get cells for them. If that makes sense. I could pair it up with someone else, but they're not going to be as powerful as those 150s. Maybe I could do like 134 Mallory, and sure. Or if I want to do another tank on the side, sure. But yeah, it's just that I wanted to specifically rank up my hamster monster but unfortunately he died now i could have actually strategized it a little more of course with like substituting the what's it called the talents and stuff like that here and they're healing me from time to time but um it's okay maybe we could do a part two for the gauntlet where maybe we could complete it by strategizing it but anyways guys let me in the comments down below what your thoughts are i personally don't like it Okay, I, I really don't. They should definitely change it back, and I'm sure they will, but uh, maybe we'll have to just give it some time. Um, and yeah, I just want to hear your opinion on this. If you did enjoy today's video, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, notifications on, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.